I want to tell y'all how much I appreciate each and each individual here. I've uh, been with y'all for four years, seeing y'all a lot, uh, and I'm just you know happy to have the opportunity to be with you guys and you know go through these four years with you guys. I just want to say thank you. Who are your emotions like today, Jacory? Just before the game, senior day, the whole thing. Describe your emotions. Uh, it was it was a very emotional day. You know, we came out, um, had a senior day last time. Walking out down the field, and then you got your parents out there. Um, but um, overall, it was a very emotional day. What would you like late in the game when you kind of tell them to come back with what happened? Um, I don't know. It was it was kind of it was a kind of crazy um how the game how the game just turned around and quickly spun around. And uh, you know, Boston College they played a great game and uh, they made some great plays. So uh, you got you got to give credit where credit is due. I know you're disappointed with the loss, but the fact that this was your last game, you guys approach this in the bowl game, does it make it that more disappointing? Uh, it's disappointing because I couldn't start those guys off with a, um, a win to start next season. That's why I'm disappointed, and uh, and I couldn't you know, get a win for the seniors. And uh, we wanted to finish the season on strong. Uh, we didn't uh, we didn't win the game, but we fought hard. They played hard. They played their butts off, and. Uh, you know, these guys are very resilient. They've been fighting the whole year through all that adversity. And uh, I wouldn't want to be on any other team. Corey, have you heard that Coach Golden signed a, a four-year Since 2020. Yeah, when, uh, when did you hear it? How did you hear it? I helped him sign it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Coach Golden is someone who deserves it. And I'm glad that he got a contract extension because um, now it, it doesn't have the guys wondering if or not their coach is going to be there uh, over the next couple of years. Um, they're guaranteed that he's going to be here. So now they can just move on and move forward with, um, you know, with, with football and getting better and learning the little things in order to, to uh, start fresh next year and uh, have this great season they're about to have. Jaquari, I know it's really fresh, but how are you going to remember your time here at Miami? I'm going to love it. Uh, my time here at the University of Miami has been crazy, but at the end of the day when I look back, I'm happy with everything I've accomplished. I'm leaving with a degree. Uh, and I know my parents are proud of that. So, uh, and uh, just like the rest of the seniors, they're happy with, you know, with what we accomplished, the things we've been through, um, and uh, you know, we're just overall happy. Uh, aside from the stuff on the field, you know, with what you've been through with the fans and all that stuff, do you feel like you've just grown as a person? You've learned a lot of life lessons, maybe in the four years you've been here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I've learned a lot of life lessons. Uh, I know it's going to help me in the future. You know, it's not going to be the last time I see adversity. So I'm willing to fight back. I'm willing to, uh, to take shots at it. So um, just anxious and, and uh, on what awaits me. Hey, Jacory, you're among some key personnel this team will lose next year, and we're asking Lamar about it. But what do you sort of see ahead for this team next year on offense, you know, with Coach Fish in the second year and some of these pieces coming back? I feel like everything with Jill are perfect. Um, you know, we kind of started the season off fresh, but we, we caught on to everything pretty well. And um, that's just going to be – better because now Steven has a whole year under his belt. He played a couple of snaps and uh, played a game. Uh, he had a chance to uh, actually play in the game and, uh, and get used to this offense and he does well in practice. So uh, I know he's going to be able to run it next year and um, everybody's going to be okay. If, if Lamar asked your advice of whether he should go or stay, what would you tell him? Um, I'm going to tell him ask his parents and pray about it. That's what you should do. Uh, to me, he's in a he's in a he's in a great situation right now. Either way, if he stays or if he goes, so um, you know he has to. He has, that's something he has to ask his parents and pray with. Jacory, six and six on the season. Coach Golden said the team has been inconsistent this season, but not nearly what they were last year. Having been here all these four years, what do you see was the team's biggest improvement from last year to this year? Similar records, but a different team. Um, I feel like last year's team would have given. Second, second half. I mean, the first half. When things were going wrong, if we had been behind or something like that, um, this year team, we, we were always going into the half either in a close game or you know tight game, and we always came out before, and we fought all the way until the clock struck zero. And that's something that I appreciate from this team. Uh, the guys go out there, they fought every play. Uh, this year, they've just been a very resilient team, like I said before, and. Uh, just happy to play around, around a bunch of guys like this. What's, what's, going to take, oh, me, what's it going to take next year to go from fighting to the end and losing close games to 
to getting over that hump? Um, just everybody, just everybody coming together and gelling and uh, just cutting down small things. Because, um, you know, other teams, they just play to stay in the game and then they wait on one big play or one mistake and then that's when, you know, things happen that you don't want. And, um, you know, we just, uh, I'm pretty sure that Coach Golden has a, has a plan and his plan, I'm, I'm sure, will work. Corey, you've been around a lot of these guys almost your entire life. A lot of these guys have played with us since you were young. How tough is it going to be moving forward that you won't have Sean or Tommy or some of these guys around you? Is that is kind of a tough thing? I think it's tough. It's uh, really going to be tough. I, I've been knowing Tommy since we were little, probably about eight years old. And uh, Sean, I met him in the eighth grade, Marcus, those guys, knowing all the rest of the guys from Miami. Um, and we're all little playing in Pop Warner. So, now it's finally going into the real world and separated from each other, which uh, may happen. Um, it's going to be something that you, you got to get used to, and it was going to happen sooner or later, so you just got to go ahead and do it. Two more questions for Jacory, Jacory, please. Jacory, you said um, earlier we talked about how this team didn't quit, or maybe last year. <coughs> why, why did that change? I guess we worked so hard in the off season and Became, we, we grew such a bond in the off season and stuff that leading up to the season is like even in tough games we always look to each other and, and we know that we're gonna fight for each other no matter what's going on we're never gonna get up give up on each other um, that's and that's how we were in the off season when things were going tough you know they're running the conditioning we always look, we can look at each other and we know that we got each other's back we're gonna help one another even if that person couldn't succeed in, in a rep. You gotta move on to the next and you gotta keep going. And that's what we did this whole season. Um, you know, we kept fighting. Even when we're down, we kept on chopping away. And you know, some some games then um didn't go our way and uh, sometimes you need luck. Hey to Corey, if you were writing uh, an autobiography of your four years in Miami, what would you make the headline of your book? Um, came out of champion. That's how I feel. Great, thank you.